Unit 5, Part 2, Computer Programming Essentials. As you may recall, in our last unit, in our last part, we were looking at methods and scope of variables. And we just started talking about overloading a method. Um, when you are calling a method, if you have a method that accepts a double parameter, you can call that method with a double argument or with an int argument, because an int can be automatically promoted to a double. So if the compiler uh, doesn't have a better fit, if it needs to promote one of the arguments to fit one of the parameters, it will go ahead and do so. But in our, with the set of data types that we are using, the only one that will work is an int can be promoted to a double. You cannot promote a double to an int. Do you remember why? If you said possible loss of precision, you are correct. You can't take a double and force it into an int without using explicit typecasting. If you have, when the compiler cannot figure out which method to use, that's known as ambiguity, and your program will not compile if you have ambiguity. If you are going to overload methods, be sure to provide different parameter lists that will avoid ambiguity. It is illegal to have methods with the same names that have identical parameter lists or argument lists but return different types. So the return type is not part of the overloading. With overloading, it will look at the compiler will look at the method name and the parameter list. It will not look at the return type of the method. We call that the method signature. The method signature is the method name and the parameter list. It does not include the return type. So return type cannot help you avoid ambiguity. Uh, it is common to have many, many classes are commonly used in a wide variety of programs. Um, but we don't always need them all. As we talked about with joptionpane.showmessage dialog, when you need to use joptionpane, you have to import the uh, package or library of classes that contains joptionpane. We don't include it automatically. Some classes are used so frequently, like system.out.println is such a frequently used method that system.out is imported automatically as part of the Java language features, and we don't have to write the import statement. That's part of the java.lang package, and it's automatically imported because it contains the fundamental classes. Um, if you want to include optional classes, you must explicitly state them. For example, the math class is one that you might want to use um, to access some common math methods. So we have to import java.lang.math if we want to use those math methods without using the math qualifier. Here are examples of math methods uh, that are commonly used. There are more, and you can take a look at them in the help files just by Googling uh, the math class. I'd like to call your attention to one that's used pretty frequently, and that's the POW function. So with your eye, scroll down and find POW x comma y. This is how Java does exponents. So if you want to raise a variable x to the power of y, you use pow x comma y. You can uh, uh, use pre-written classes if you use the entire path with the class name, import the class, import the package that contains the class, or you, you can use a wildcard symbol. I'll let you know exactly which import statements you need. Um, sometimes the uh, NetBeans can help you with that. Um, uh, and there are just a few that we're going to be using in this class, and I will definitely give you a heads up on what you need to import. So to summarize, the variable scope refers to the portion of the program in which you can reference that variable. A code block is code uh, within a pair of curly braces, an open brace and a code break, break, closing, close, excuse me, closing curly brace indicates a co code block. You can overload a method, which means that you have a method with the same name but different parameter or argument lists. You can use pre-written classes that are stored in packages by using the import statement. Here's the terminology from this unit. Uh, there are just a few words there that you will need to make uh, flashcards for, and, and these will be assigned in class.